If you enjoy this channel or this content, if you could drop a like or a sub, that would certainly be appreciated and it really does go a long way. So this patient's had a skin lesion that's been there for a little bit, but got acutely inflamed and has swollen over the course of the last little while. You can see it's fairly vascular. You can see the bruising around it. This is consistent with a, a pyogenic granuloma versus a hemangioma. Um, so this is a big blood supply, obviously. So if they're more raw and they're sort of uh, look more weepy, then sometimes you can treat these with salt because the salt will actually be absorbed and it'll constrict these, but this one's not overly weepy. So we'll have to freeze underneath it, cauterize it, and we should be able to just sort of form a, a base on that, uh, a scab on that by cauterizing and that should be the end of it. This is going to sting a little bit. So this is a poke, just bevel up here, poke. Going to feel the burning. So that's what I want to see. I want to see this whole area blanch and this should swell a little bit. You okay? Yeah. Done there. So I'm just looking to see that it swells all the way around it. Because obviously this is the only part of this that's critical. As long as he's comfortable, this is fine. Does that hurt when I do this? No. No. So then the argument becomes, you know, which tool would you use to sort of remove this? You could do either or. Um, a lot of people use a scalpel. The problem I have with a scalpel is depending on how flat you are, you can sometimes skife it and you can fix that and I'll show you how afterwards. But typically what I'll prefer is just the straight scissors for a lesion of this size because the scissors are obviously going to be very straight across and you'll have an even cut. Just like that. You're okay? Yep. So because it's such a vascular lesion, you want to make sure that you put lots of pressure. So you can see if I just leave it open, it's just going to ooze. So I want to just be dealing right with the corner of it. And I want to cauterize it just as it comes off, just like that. So once I've done that, I'm just going to now use the scalpel. So this is where if I'd used the scalpel in the first place, so this was an uneven cut, you would just fix it now by taking whatever dead tissue or, or extra skin off by scraping it with a scalpel until you have a nice firm base. And most of the time you can get away with these for hermangiomas and pyogenic granulomas. Now, if the base was too raw and it was just continuing to bleed, then the solution would be, and we did that a few weeks ago, you would just do an elliptical incision and stitch this close, which he shouldn't need. I'm just gonna turn down the gain on this. I'm just cleaning off the edge here. So this scab, while it may look unsightly, that'll fall off in about a week and a half to two weeks, and that'll heal in nicely for you.